Do you look in the sky a lot? Exopolitics and ufology, religion and science, time and space. Hosted by Mike Smith. You're listening to Time and Space on 22nd Century Radio. And I'll go ahead and get after this. We're back on Time and Space, timeandspace.us. I'm your host, Mike Smith, and I appreciate you joining us. I'm recording this in Harare, Zimbabwe, which is a fantastic place to be recording the show and I mean, was part of the greater plan of being able to get around the world and do something that other radio shows aren't really able to do. I'm joined here by our fantastic co-host, Avocado. Kareem, who I hadn't mentioned. Kareem, Sorry. thank you for joining us. No Supermodel Nakai from Amanzi. Visit amanzi.co.zw and no, please visit Amanzi Restaurant and Lodge if you're in Harar. Avocado is by privilege. So you can't introduce him as Avocado because in the rest of the world... You're, you're right. That's correct. No, I didn't want to be unfair. Okay, I don't have the right to I'm call him Avocado. You're about... You're well, that's very nice of you. I appreciate it. I should have probably asked him for permission, I suppose. Maybe you. Tav. His name is Tav. <laughs> Our other co-host is Tav this mm -hmm. evening. And I am just very happy to have gotten to stay here at the new lodge that's part of Amanzi Orange Grove for the past couple of weeks. It's a fantastic place. If and when you visit, I should say, when you visit Zimbabwe, come see Victoria Falls, Great Zimbabwe, any of this other stuff, stay at an Amanzi Lodge. Any one of these places is great. Go visit the restaurant on Thursday nights for jazz and a very good time. It's just a very relaxed atmosphere and a beautiful place to be. You're listening to episode 11. We're talking about Great Zimbabwe. We're going to break away from our topic for the day to do a segment of our absolutely brilliantly popular game, Fungo. Another chance to ask our silly questions to some of these people to see how they do. I have two sets. I'm going to go with the one point. I guess we call it 1.1 for Amanzi. And we have a two point. I think we were up to 2.2 .2 with some of the revisions. So we'll do both sets straight away. And of the three people that are at least sitting here enjoying this show with me, I'd like to get a volunteer to do the first set. Which one of you would like to? Well, Kareem's oh, hand Kareem. goes up. So Kareem will be I'm on the good. hot seat. How you, How you doing? How you doing? We're in Harare, yeah, bitch. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Kareem, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, it's you know, final. Thank you for what, sir? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Kareem, thank you for joining us. We're going to get Kareem to play the version one of Fungo. We sort of revised it to 1.1, and now suddenly we have a bit of a tricky... I'm going to have to throw a curveball in for one of these late questions, because I had changed it up. The intent was to play with my roommate, Brian, who is not with us at the moment. He's otherwise <laughs> occupied. <laughs> 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 We will get to James Bond later in the episode and hopefully do a reprise of this game. This is ten questions, ten trivia questions. They're rather sort of all over the map, so to speak, but they're very interesting, and it'll be really interesting to see how you do on them, especially with your earlier criticism of the American-centric, because this, this list was a little more Americanized than the one that I was looking for, but I'll run with this one for the first set. We'll see how we do. So question one, we're playing version one of Fungo. This is sort of, we're calling it version 1.1 with Kareem. Question number one of Fungo, what does the abbreviation DC stand for? In the name Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. District of Columbia. District of Columbia. Question one, Kareem gets that one correct. Excellent. Question number two in Fungo, 1.1, live in Harare, Zimbabwe. What is the value of the Roman numeral XX? What is the value of the Roman numeral XX? Question two, the audience may not answer. Kareem is on the hot seat. Is that going to be your final answer? Are you going to go with See, you can't help them. That's not fair. It's not fair to the people. 55 or 99. Oh, 11. 11. 
Uh, Unfortunately, none of the three answers, 55, 99, or 11, is correct. The Roman numeral XX is the equivalent of 20. Uh, 20. Excellent. Question number three. But can I just say that because all these kids have all these nice phones, like these iPhones that do all this shit. What what is this? Right. So we. No, 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 no. No, (laughs) it's not. Wow. Yes, they all have chariots and they all live in Emerald City. Right, all exactly. Have the all of the Emerald They're all Google. Went on vacation. Amonzi.co.zw. <laughs> Excellent. Question number three Fungo, version 1.1. We're playing with Kareem. He's one of two so far. Question number three Name one country located on the equator. Name one country in the world, any country, located, physically located on the equator. Republic of Congo. You are correct. Republic of Congo is a correct answer. One that we have not gotten yet. But it is in our list. Excellent job. Very good. Question number four, Fungo, version 1.1. From Zimbabwe. What nation are the Giza pyramids located in? What physical country are the Giza pyramids located in? Sorry, I can't help you, Danny. Right. You're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're listening to Time and Space. I'm your host, Mike Smith. We're playing Fungo with Kareem. What nation, what country are the Giza pyramids, the Great Pyramids of Giza, what country are they located in? Question, when you say nation, could I refer to it as, as African nation? Or are you actually referring to his actual country? I'm not sure what distinction you're making, so go ahead and whatever answer you want to give. African nation is not close enough okay. to the correct answer, but question number four. Ballpark. <laughs> what nation <laughs> what nation are the Giza pyramids <laughs> located in? Pyramids. I'm guessing Egypt, I don't know why. Kareem gets it correct. The answer is Egypt. The Great Pyramids of Giza are located in Egypt. When in Harare. Wow. I'm in Harare, bitch. Please, I'm fucking educated. I know. Get at us. Get at us. Zimbabwe, most literacy, 90%. Get it right. Know this. I know this, man. How you doing? get him? How you doing? <laughs> All right, America. You All right. To see what's up? Wow! <laughs> All right. For those of you who have heard earlier episodes with this same set of questions, you're probably laughing, and it just gets better from here. Oh, this is excellent. Let's move to question number five in Fungo one point one. We're playing with Kareem here in Harare, Zimbabwe. What does the abbreviation AM stand for? What does the abbreviation AM stand for? Everybody that's heard this before knows that there's two possible answers to this question. Both are accepted as being correct. We've gotten both in previous sets of these questions. Playing Fungo 1.1 with Kareem, what does the abbreviation AM stand for? Well, what does FM stand for? <laughs> I'm either guessing it has to do with nation, so it's either American or African mutual or something. I will I will build on this a little bit and give you a tip off. Let's try this. In time, and that's been an interesting thing. The show is called Time and Space, so this is worth going into just briefly. Over here, it's interesting to see the TV listings because they go with what we call military time in the U.S. In the afternoon, they call it 1400, 1600, 1800. We don't say that in the U.S. We say a.m. and p.m. Oh, for time. Okay. So that's right. So if I said 6 a.m., what would the a.m. stand for? Versus a.m. versus f.m. Exactly. The second distinction is radio stations, right? And you have two types, two bands. One is AM, one is FM. Either interpretation of the abbreviation AM is accepted as an answer for this. Do you know what either of those stands for? 
Camera like the answer this way. But no. can I guess if I'm wrong you just tell Is me. it Latin? At morning. It's not at morning. But something morning. No. No. It's a Latin. Yes, the the one we are the time one is. Yes, the time yeah, one. The is. time one is Latin. Right. The radio one is just radio. I don't know the radio one. Does anyone have a light? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I need a light. I think I threw the red one if back in there. See, he might be sitting on it actually. I'm you can try. It's in my pocket. <laughs> and this is the fun part of Fungo. Yeah. These are questions <laughs> that people hear these things all the time, but the question is, do they know what they mean? And we've just put lots of people on the spot. This time we're putting Kareem on the spot. He did put his hand up. Clearly a little frustrated. It's okay. You know what? AM is up yours. If you want. Wow. <laughs> see. <laughs> Up yours, aren't you going back up to yours. America tomorrow? So, so no one yeah. should be up so early in the morning. Right. <laughs> People should be sleeping. As Dossing. far as I'm concerned. Dossing. There's no time Dossing. limit. There's also no, no shame in giving up. Is actually, I give up. just say this on air. That is why we have short people in the world. Because they don't get enough sleep. They don't take the wow. seriously. And you Nakai. Control. We're going to get back to Nakai at the end of the fungo stretch here. And re really, I'm dying to just grill her with the second side. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. AM, <laughs> AM, if you're talking about time, stands for anti meridian. There's the mm. Greenwich oh, meridian, my. which is the zero line oh, on the never globe. Said. See, I knew that. And it's anti meridian. Oh, if you're talking about radio, FM stands for frequency modulation, which is a certain way that they fluctuate the waves. And AM is amplitude modulation, a different way that they fluctuate oh, the radio waves. I have no idea how you would know that, but that's, <laughs> that's not the point of the question. Why the hell? All right. Now, this is, this is going to be a really African interesting... Time. African time, maybe. 18, time. 18, it was like 18, not 18. This is going to be a really interesting double shot of questions here, because this was a good one earlier in the year. This next one is a gimme. The one after it is not a gimme, so we'll see how you do with this. Question number six on this original 1.0 set, which I guess is going to expire and soon, but if time? we can if we can get Brian later, we're going to. Uh, he's gotten three out of five so far, which listen, no, <laughs> not, not bad. Don't worry about it. Go, 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 go. Question number six: Where was I had to actually mark it out? You can see I marked it with a red pen. Where was the 2010 World Cup played? Um, I'm not into football, so I wouldn't know, but I'm guessing South Africa. Probably South Africa. I would hope since we're in a neighboring country. Very good. Question number six. Where was the 2010 World Cup played? The answer is South Africa. Question number seven. Where were the 2010 Winter Olympic Games played? Oh, and he goes at it just like that. With more confidence than he did with the World Cup. Vancouver is the correct answer. Excellent. Question number eight. The famous Daytona 500 race. What U.S. state is the Daytona 500 located in? Indiana. Incorrect. Wow. That is the Indianapolis 500. I'll give you a second shot at it just for fun. The Daytona 500. Florida, sorry. Florida, very I, good. I Excellent. There, all right. I'll jump into the game. That's all right. Sorry, Florida. <laughs> ah, very that good. My bad. Earlier, our executive chef, Mike Fay, I'm never going to let him off the hook for this, answered Ohio. Question number nine. Now, I'm going to do an A and B here. Let's, let's, do, let's do an A and B here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and give him that he's going to get this because I think the original ninth question was too easy. I don't think anybody missed it. But we threw it in to see if we could trip somebody up. What cardinal direction of north, south, east, and west, what direction does the sun set in? West. West. Now, that was not a question that tripped a lot of people up. However... My roommate Brian, who I'm hoping to catch later on this, was going to have question number nine replaced with this question. Let's see how good you are with this, Kareem. Down south. I might have to. Yo. Down south. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. We weren't going to go there with the show. <laughs> Question number nine. <laughs> Question number nine. When you wake up down south. Fungo version 1.0, 1.1 from Harari Zimbabwe with Kareem. The substitute question number nine, in Shauna, the question was going to be for Brian. You've been here for three and some weeks. Can you tell me anything in Shauna? I'll give you a couple of words. I'm going to pull one so that <laughs> the cheaters over here can't get away with this. In Shauna, how do you, how do you say thank you? Oh, Kareem's giving me the hand signals now, see? If, <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> sorry. Did you, what, did you write these down for him? <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait <laughs> Majita. Yeah. Majita, sorry. Majita? Yep. I have to tend to. What is that? It's also shot. Oh, jeez. It's going to blow up in my face. I had a specific <laughs> one for Brian, so like I said, we're going to give him question number nine. So finally, question number ten. <laughs> I'm going to let you slide on Daytona. Wait, wait, wait. One, like, you get the I rest. He's still... Isn't a tender thank you and my Gita, thank you very much? They all thank you, actually. I think one is more intense. Like, one is like, wow. more... No, magic. Professor Avocado is chipping in with a linguistic <laughs> lesson now. All right, final question. Final question. <laughs> question ten. For real though. I have a question. <laughs> Seven of nine for Kareem. He's, no, gonna, wait, he's wait, going wait, to pull an eight. Take a point right now. Well, anyone to call him Avocado. He's oh, probably known as Avocado. No, I'm sorry. That's like right of admission reserved. And the name of fruit. Uh, don't refer to him as... No, I've got to get technical about this. Yeah, let's go with Tabs. We'll go with Tabs. Tabs. We won't say Avocado. Oh, Robin. Question number 10. <laughs> Our last question in Fungo 1.1. Kareem's been a fantastic contestant. Very patient with us. Question number 10. <laughs> Which Robert pole? got paid. I don't care what nobody said. Robert got paid. That bitch got paid. Right? Howard Stern is the man. He got it paid, Robert. She got it sold out. Sold their country. Sold their people. Sold everybody. But she, Robert, but she paid. She really paid. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Donate to Zimbabwe. Oh. Fix our road, damn it. Use some of Howard's Fix cash. Our road. Yeah, fix <laughs> our road, Robin. Ah, we're back to that again. You heard it. We're in Harare. You want to jump on our phone? Oh we're in Harare, bitch. Fix our roads. <laughs> Shout out to Robin. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> oh, you better ask somebody. <laughs> right, ask how. Wow. Right, ask how. Never ask somebody. Ask her for help. It's like <laughs> <laughs> just not able to Robin. keep up. And Howard. Oh, my thing. word. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have fun here, and it's at this point where we may need some fucking Muvra. Yeah. Or a tequila shot. No. Or I need some fucking like Muvra. Before we take yeah. a brief shot, shot. beverage yeah. break. break for a shot. Brief beverage break after we finish question number 10. Okay. Final question of 1.1. Kareem. Yeah, well, we're going to get it for real, for real, for real. Robin, how you doing? See, <laughs> but, but how you doing for real though? I'm gonna oh, email no, this to her. Right? I'm just gonna uh, email it to her. Straight to her ass. <laughs> Here you go, honey. I hope you're proud of your radio <laughs> career. How you doing? Excellent. How you doing? Keep Quest it real, Robin. Keep question. Real. Question number ten. <laughs> question number ten. Are you gonna force question number ten? Okay. Which pole of the Earth, north or south? has the greater land mass. Question number 10, Fungo 1.1, we're playing with Kareem. He's gotten seven out of nine so far. This is the final question. Which pole, north or south, has the greater land mass? North. Is your name Kareem? Is your name Kareem? Sorry. And you're so wrong about that. 
I think I'm correct. Do you? I agree, it's north. You're both incorrect. The answer is Antarctica, oh. the south. <laughs> <laughs> Why do the I listen to south. my mind? The Why south. did I not listen to A my mind? A brave effort by Korea. The only continent I've never been to, I knew I should have oh. listened to my damn mind. But my co-worker over here just fucked me up. That's why you never do game shows. Always listen to your mind, America. America, listen to your mind. No, this is brilliant. You believe us. Listen to your first thought. If you're in high school and you got A, B, C, D, or in university, just remember Zimbabwe. Most literate country all in, in Africa. Africa. Most what? Sorry, excuse me. Most what? I said literate. Literate. Thank you. That was my bad. So country. sorry. Excellent. I'm gonna fuck you. We're up. gonna take another break. <laughs> We're coming to you from the Orange Grove Whoa. in Harare, Zimbabwe. <laughs> we'll be right back with the second half oh, man, I to you. It's of Fungo. <laughs> you just made me get a C instead of a fucking B. Fuck. <laughs> Find us on the internet timeandspace.us and don't forget, download our free smartphone app Exopolitics and Ufology Religion and Science Time and Space Hosted by Mike Smith Find us on the internet timeandspace.us and Time and Space Radio Show on Facebook I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start the recording here for Section 2, we're doing Fungo yeah. We're gonna hopefully get Brian in here to answer a few in a few minutes, but we're gonna do the 2.0 set. This has sort of been revised a little bit, and we're gonna we're gonna get our co-host Nakai. You're listening to Time and Space. I'm your host Mike Smith. Time and Space. I'm your host. I'm your. I'm the. I'm the main guy. No, I'm the host. No, you're, you're the co-host. Robin. <laughs> see, no. see, see, wow, see. man, I am so. He's really messy. Visit right. timeandspace.us. <laughs> visit us on Facebook. <laughs> Amanzi.co.zw. Please visit the Amanzi Lodges and Restaurant when in Harare. We are back to do the second part of our Fungo special here in Harare in a slightly more crowded room than we had before. And we're going to try to move on with the second set of questions. This time we're going to put Nakai on the hot seat. Supermodel Nakai. Which means I'm allowed to be blunt. <laughs> who is now going to have to face up against the brilliant score of 8 out of 10 that Kareem just posted on the 1.0 version. So we're going to see how Nakai does on the second set. And our fantastic co-host, Tavs. What do you is joining us, and he's going to read off the set of questions here. We're going to start with question number one. This is Fungo 2.0. Question number one. Nakai is answering the questions for us. We'll get to Brian in just a little while. Tavs, go ahead and take it over. Hold on. I, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. right. Oprah, hey, right. I know you got coin, no, man. If it's Robin right. can't fix the roads, I know you can. Look wow. Look it up. Look it up. Anyway, excellent. So now this is this is from World Two Point uh, Version Two Two Point Zero. Okay. The first question to you, Mikai, is <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. Funny. This is a good one. That's this is a good. This is a good one. I love this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince Black Prince on a dark blue paper. But anyway, right? Oh, okay. It has to be the embassy. They have to complication. Yeah, I was like, why can't just put white bombing Iran? Right, exactly. I want blue fucking flyer paper. If it's on white paper, I start catching. Grief for that too. So right. I, there's really no way to win. Right. Go. Alien paper. <laughs> Alien blue. Question paper. number one. Fungo two okay, point oh. Question number two. Question number one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Okay. So Tenzin Tenzin so Gaia. So sorry. Okay. I can't. No. Are you listening? Are you listening? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's okay. never gonna survive okay. these same questions. Tenzin Gaia. A.K. the fourteenth Don. Dalai Lama. And Jesus Christ, right. what a... Is considered the leader of what religion? 
Fuck me, I don't know. The Dalai Lama. Question number the Dalai one. Lama. The Dalai Lama Whichever is the Dalai leader Lama of is. which religion? Who's the Dalai Lama? They are like aren't they like Indian or something? Or what are those like mixed people? Wow, those confused people. They're not confused, don't they? Because they don't know Jesus. That's Christ. amazing. Dalai no. Lama. Um. Because they don't know Jesus Christ. Is that what you just said? <laughs> wow. No. Okay. Um, no. Um, I'm sorry. Can I just cut me? Of course you this? can. Can I please cut me? I honestly think. I hope I don't get shot for this, but religion is absolute bullshit. Just the fact that. No, the only reason why I'm saying that is just the fact that the only reason why religion differs is because of language and because of community and because of the people around. Like, just the way we were talking earlier on about Jesus Christ translated from Shauna to a thing and people thinking that Shauna, the religious god for Shauna, was completely different from Jesus Christ when it was the exact same thing. That's why. So the only reason why we're separated as people when it comes to religion is because of language in different, different translations. But at the same time, the Bible... It's very okay. interesting take. Wait, can I also just say, at the same time, the Bible does say you are not to actually bring down another religion or... Um, yeah. So You're not. And the only reason why it that. says that is because so we're all the same we people. The question. The Dalai Lama is yeah, considered Tibet the leader. Or something. Tibet, Tibet. That's the country. The question is, the Dalai Lama is the leader of which religion? Yes, we're still on question one of Fungo 2.0. That's a very interesting take, by the way. It's too hard to really go into it too much here, but the Imori thing from earlier is tied directly to what you're saying. I am the weakest link. Goodbye. Wow. That's actually Dude. the wrong Dude. show. We're actually right. on Are you giving up on question number one? No, I will because I haven't delved into that side of things because I have All right, fair enough. enough. The Dalai Lama, anyone else want to answer? Did one of you two guys want to throw this in? The Dalai, Dalai Lama is the leader of which religion? You know, why are you asking me all these One things? of the five major religions in the why world. Why did you get all these religions? The other four would be Christianity, Islam, Judaism. And Hinduism, Hindu. which one Hinduism. am I forgetting? Buddhism. 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 Dalai Lama is the leader of Buddhism. I wish I got those questions. That's that correct. Because, that you know, if you'd ask me. Nikai is 0 for 1, if anyone's keeping one, score at all. 0 for 1. 0 for 1. You said Tibet, but that's not Wait, even. That's not close two. enough. Question number 2. Tav's going to read off question number 2. The so called Bermuda or Devil's Triangle is located in which ocean? You're a fucking guy. <laughs> you're it's asking in the Atlantic. Me shit. No. You're asking me shit that does not apply to my fucking country. That's my what it's country. All Question number two The Bermuda Triangle. Or the devil's is located, or Devil's Bible, Triangle, is devil's located triangle. in which ocean? Devil's Triangle. The Devil's Triangle. Bermuda Triangle is located in which ocean? For those of you who caught Kareem's answer, please devil's go ahead and pencil that in. Um, and for the lady fans out there, Devil's Triangle is not between your legs. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, see, I was going to say that, actually. Uh, see why I made that, that distinction earlier? Well, actually, no. I thought I'm good about, about it. it. <laughs> I, I, never it. I appreciate I it. I never Devil's went there. Triangle. I actually thought it was between my brain. But I recently <laughs> discovered, like, when I was reading about it the other day, from the Atlantic. <laughs> the uncensored edition of Time and Space coming to you live from Harare, Zimbabwe. No Question number two: The Bermuda or Devil's Triangle is located not between your breath, in but in, the in which ocean? Atlantic Ocean. She's going with Atlantic Ocean. That would be correct. She's one for one. Let's move to question <laughs> three. One for two. One for two. One for two, excuse me. By the way, he's working for the U.S. Embassy and he just... <laughs> <laughs> After two questions. So, you see, we don't all have to go to Harvard. Right. Amen. And he can't count. Question number three. Wow. What language are the standard numerals zero to nine from? Ah, yes. Excellent. Can you repeat that one? What language are the standard, the standard numerals zero to nine from? Zero through nine. 
originate from another language. language. What, what, what language, language is zero through nine? What what? Where did those numbers come from? <laughs> Kareem, Kareem, perhaps jeopardizing his own chances. <laughs> Chiming in with a whispered answer. The number zero through nine. Language is it from? Right. Do you want to chime in? What's that? Um. What's that? <laughs> Dude, I'm not I even with it. Say, right now. Um, no, we'll I would say. We'll mess with you in a few minutes. Like, like, yeah, just a motherfucker. Just for fun. It's all good. Are you cool? Do you know the answer to this question? <laughs> 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 Chinese or Egyptian? I don't know. Chinese or Egyptian? I don't know. Or English. <laughs> Baby Roman. Baby Roman, 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 Roman or no, but Roman is Roman numerals. You got the specific. Roman is letters. Roman is data. So the numbers. zero through nine. Right. Zero, oh, one, yeah, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine was an invention. By a specific culture, okay, and it comes I, from I a specific language. Okay, for me, know. it's the British. <laughs> because I was colonized by the British, <laughs> and they told me zero, one, and that's, that's the point of this. That's the point of the quiz. The British. Right. She's going English. with British. The correct answer is Arabic. Zero through nine was an invention from the Arabic culture. Following the development I that in my history book. of Islam... And the rise of those various empires in Arabia, zero okay, through nine, was an invention of that scientific community. Therefore, Africa needs to revise its history book. Let's move on to question. What are we on four now? <laughs> I believe she's one out of three so far. She's under a lot of pressure. Kareem feeling real good about his performance. Try to find the gap. And by the way, what about eight? Try to find the gap. We gave you eight. We gave you eight. You wanted nine. Okay, that's fine. What country is the city of Jerusalem located? Okay. Excellent. Hallelujah. Jerusalem. <laughs> what country is the city of Jerusalem located? I know, I know that one. I know, I know that oh, one. Oh, you do. I do. Israel. Okay. Israel is the correct answer. Very good. All right. Moving on. What's this? Question five. Man, question number five. It is so nice of the questions that she had numbers. No, I apologize. Yes. As opposed to dogs. Yes, the producers yeah. have let us down. I'm trying to count. That's right. H Town. H Town, this means you. Yeah. Why do I have to type these up on my own? Right. We're an educated person. We can handle this. I should have numbered the questions. Right. Question number five. Question number five. Question number five. What does the abbreviation BAC stand for? Uh, British American Cunts. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my goodness. For all of those listeners under the age of 18, <laughs> we do apologize for any offensive language oh, that's I been included. My in this, and that's why this question was included because of the situation that we're in right now. What does the abbreviation BAC stand for? <laughs> for those who might not have heard Nikai's answer, I believe, and I'll say it as clearly as possible, it was British American cunt. I don't think that's the correct answer, but for those of you listening, enjoy the laugh. Again, what does the abbreviation BAC stand for? Yeah, let me hear that. Fuck me, I don't know. Now, you're from the U.S., so I'm going to have to beg you to maybe think about this and try to come up with it. BAC, I'll give you a hint. You get pulled over by a state trooper. He's going to give you the breathalyzer. you got to walk the line. He measures how much you have to drink in BAC. Breathalyzer. Blood. Blood. Alcohol. 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 Consumption. Contents. Content. Blood alcohol you know contents. Mine sounds better. Yours did sound a lot better. I gotta admit that. And got a much better reaction. There's no question about it. British American cats. Wow. Let's move to question six, shall we? We're playing Fungo 2.0 with Nakai. 
She's not stacking up to Kareem's effort, but she's trying. We tripped her up a couple of times. Question number six, Tabs. Okay, what country is, is the city of Mecca located in? Mecca. Mecca. Mother of Mecca. Mecca. It's located in the Garden of Eden. No, it's India. Holy crap. Shit. <laughs> the Garden of Eden. India. India? That's yeah. not right India. either. No, the reason no. why I said that. Oh, I will. Hi, hey. Whoa, whoa. What is God? Mother of me. See, this, uh, again, this is why we're playing. This is why we're playing. You're going to get a ball up and you just. In the right. outfield, it's an easy one. It's an, It's Mecca. Mecca. Right. No, Mecca. What Japan city? Right. Excuse me. Oh, what I'm country? With the rest of my biblical what country? Biblical. Mecca. When you say the city of Mecca, oh, don't don't even try it. Oh, but I can't. Mecca. I can't. Where all the Muslims go every year on their pilgrimage. What country is that city? Located in. Oh, I'm can not I just say the first thing that Zimbabwe is a Christian? If you country. say Mecca, so is a local Christian, 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 Christian. Christian. Yes, it is. It's Mother so, Mecca. in terms of anything that that's religious, in terms of outside <laughs> the Christian <laughs> realm, it's the, the people are very limited. <laughs> I must say that. <laughs> I can, where they yeah, where they all go to the wall? Where they all go to the wall? Yeah. Well, the Wailing Wall is Jewish, and that's in Jerusalem. The Wailing Wall is at that's the Temple Mount. No, 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 Mecca no. is the big the Kaaba, the the big temple that they all go and they walk around in circles. Mecca. All the Muslims. Wait, one time in your life. To Hajj. One time. Tahaj, exactly. One time in your life you're expected as a Muslim you to make the something. pilgrimage to Mecca. Exactly. Don't you kid? I'm actually not out of line. If I say to a Zimbabwean, Mother of Mecca. Where's Mother of Mecca? What does that mean? What 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 does Mother of Mecca mean? Go on the fucking Eden, baby. Get with the program. So I am technically correct. So I am two. <laughs> You're not even close. Two out of the oh fucking ten. Oh shit. So fuck you. Okay. I am so on point. The city of Mecca. Oh yeah. One of the two holy sites in Islam that cannot be possibly rivaled. The home of the Kaaba is located in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. On the Arabian Peninsula, uh, the city of Mecca is located just okay, south you know, of the I'm other holy city of Medina. Can I ask a really serious question? Of course. Why am I getting all the serious questions? No, they get better, right? Sheep. Sheep. Oh, damn. I mean, you have to get this one. If you don't get this one, Nikai, then I'll say you. Would you know where the Daytona 500 is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now. question number one. I think we're at seven. Four, five, six, seven. Nine. Question we'll number seven. seven. Very good. Uh -huh. But you wrote them, so uh -huh. you know. This is what I assume. Right. <laughs> model, okay. poet, like the whole. What country is hosting the FIFA Soccer 2014 World Cup? Mm. Jesus. The 2014 World Cup. That's question number seven. The 2010 World Cup, which was in our previous set, South Africa. Kareem was able to wrestle that answer to the ground. But the next World Cup, 2014, to be held in which country? And while it has to give up, I want to ask you, did any of you guys go down to the World Cup? And did you get your bags? <laughs> because I need to know. You know because what I got actually? We I need got to make a shout out to that South African Airways. <laughs> because those South African Airways the carrier that's yeah, gotten yeah. me here right. and hopefully is getting me home tomorrow. Right. South what African Airways. Cheers. Also to word a shout out to South Africa. Next time South African Airways you need to pay up. Pay your Jews, motherfucker. Right? <laughs> so, 2014. The host country for the 2014 World Cup. The ones that was supposed to is going to be the ones that was supposed to host it this year. It's not working right now. The ones I had all the regalia for. Oh, she's going with Brazil as the answer. Brazil is the correct answer. The 2014 World Cup. Portuguese, 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 Portugu
Oh, yeah. 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 We'll be with you in just a minute, man. We got you. We're teeing you up. We're teeing you up. Question number eight. Question number eight. What is the first eight? Yeah, yes. 20. Only, you're only got two out of... Yeah, she's three, like two, two. two. Right, she's no, like two of seven. No, three. Go two, ahead. Four. Two. Come on. Two. 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 Yeah, we, we got you there. We got you. We got you. We'll, we'll get you in just a minute. No, Question no, number eight. Don't bother me right now. No, no, no. We're gonna, okay. We got to get you. What is the first book in the Bible? Oh, oh. Question number eight. What's the first book of the Bible? She was able to get that. Book of Isaiah. What's that? People listen here? Not right now. We're recording it and then we'll put it up and people can get it off the internet. Yeah. Question. <laughs> question what was that? Question number eight. I'm sorry. What was the oh, first book of the Bible? The answer Genesis. She was very quick with that. Very good. All right, so she's like what? Three of three of eight. Technically, though, Genesis. Three of eight. Question number nine. Bible, but anyway. Question number nine. What yeah. is what is the altitude of the MSL or mean sea level? Yes. What is? That's why I say fuck you guys. What is the altitude at sea level? If you if you were to measure like. Like in Harare, we're apparently what uh, four thousand feet off. We're, we're not sea level. So what's sea level? There's no sea level in the world because it's in not Cape sea Town, we're we're no, no, sea. no, there is sea level. There's well, no you sea level. there is no sea level, and that's how you know that you're four thousand feet above sea level when you're in Harare. Yeah, I know, Obviously, I know all of that. Okay, but if you're four thousand feet above sea level, what does that make sea level? No. What happens. I have to go back to my A-level geography, and I just got it's, not <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that complicated of a question. Yay! Excellent. The answer is zero. Sea level would be zero. Excellent. Yes. If you're four thousand feet above sea level, America. Yeah. America, you know you're not that educated. Right. That was a motherfucking trick question. <laughs> okay. It's zero. Shout out so to Jersey know. Shore. <laughs> Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Snicky, Snicky, you know you out there. You know you out there, Snicky. No, but I'll be honest with you. Oh my gosh. I consider myself smart, but fuck that shit. Because <laughs> that is not my day to day life. Brought to you by like not Budweiser. Right. Right. That's right. Amanzi. Amanzi. Not Co. Not ZW. And tequila. And tequila. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tabs, can we please have the final question? The final question number 10 on Fungo 2.0. Fungo 2.0. Name like the four closest planets <laughs> to the sun. My Mars, favorite question Jupiter. of both quizzes. My Mars, favorite question. Jupiter. Name the four planets closest to the sun. You Earth? can do this. Earth? <laughs> Race. Your anus. Your anus. Your anus. That was four. You hear that? My Because you composed the question of your anus. Yeah. It must be my one of them. Must be one of them. Whether I shove one of you really healthy candles up there. But anyway. What are the four planets? Mars and Jupiter. Closest to the sun. Two Come on. Mars, one, two, three, four. What are they? I think there's a lot of pla- planets. Mar- Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Earth, Uranus. Right. I'm a model. Uranus. I'm not paid to know these things. <laughs> I'm paid to smile at the camera. Was I right or wrong? I know. Should we move Skate on? Me. Skate me. <laughs> Can we move on and just grab Brian for these last? <laughs> what, what, what was the what's the answer to these? Oh, you what's want to answer? move on now? You want to move on? There's an the answer from it. Can you get the four planets close to this one? Tell us, Mike. Start at the sun and move out. What are the planets? There was a whole act about that. I know the furthest, system. which is where the men are from. <laughs> no, men are from Mars. That is not the planet. It goes Mars no, and no, Earth. No, no, no. Earth. Wow. Is, no, 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 no. That's planet. where the men Two are from. Ago. That's why there's no life on Pluto. No. That's where shy. men are from. That's why you all left and came to Earth. Because <laughs> no one tolerate you on you Earth. Because you were just tolerating yourself. Wait, if we came from there, from Pluto. I believe the game may have broken down. I can't believe at this point. <laughs> We've probably lost it completely. <laughs> or Mecca. 
<laughs> mother. Have you heard of a planet called Mercury? Mother. Mercury, Omega. right? I know of Mother Omega. That's closest to the sun. <laughs> Venus. Mother Omega is closest to the sun. Earth would be third. Go. Mars would be fourth. Let's just go. Go. Asteroid belt, everything else. Sorry, us those two dumb fuckies right now because they slap each other. And up. we're going to go get Brian on that segue and force him back to version 1.0 because it's just that entertaining. Yeah. Wow. 0.0. Kareem standing up tall with an 8 out of 10 in Fungo 1.0. Should have had a nine. Fuck, man, the one that just got fucking two out of ten. Visit amanzi.co. Dot zw. Amanzi was the smartest manager. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for hosting our crazy bunch. I've only been for here the past for a couple week. of weeks. Uh, wow. <laughs> We're going to get Brian next. We'll go with our third and final segment of Fungo. Tabs, thanks for your help. Thank you for your help. What? Strange and intriguing question. Brian, you're up, buddy. We'll be back right after this.